Hey y'all, how's it going? I am your girl, Hugger Tail Shay. Thank y'all for being here and joining me. So I gotta get something off my chest because this has been really, really like aggravating. I like to check my comments. I like to write and respond back. I like to heart them. I like to, but some of y'all just be doing stuff just, I feel like to get it to, I don't know if y'all are behind, if it's somebody that don't like me that's behind a fake page is doing too much, but I make the, the titles plain as day of what it's going to be about. And some of y'all will sit through a video and still talk shit. Like, I don't understand that. Like, if you don't care for your ex or this, that, and third, why are you here? You read the you read the post that said something about your ex or something about a karmic, but y'all sit and y'all watch. I'm sorry. I, I'm not the reader for you then. Like, seriously, some of y'all need to grow up. Y'all are grown-ass women. I see a couple men do it too, but some of y'all are grown as y'all are older than me, some of y'all, and y'all do that. Like, I don't know if it's just to get up under my skin, or you want a reaction, or what it is, but it's just like, oh, she can't be talking about me because I'm not this way. No, you've been given the vibe of a karmic female, like a, key, a karmic, karmic female. That, that's what karmic females do. They get up under shit and talk shit, and they, and they do too much. They want some attention. I'm not I'm not gonna give you no attention. I'm gonna block you. Okay? You know exactly who you are. And it's not and it's the crazy thing is not only did this person go up under one post and talk her shit, she went to another video, sat there and watched that one and talked more shit. And I'm like, huh? And then trying to give somebody advice. It's like, girl, please. Like y'all be some of y'all mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know, collective. I don't know. It's it's the season of the karmics are coming out. I, I don't know. It's the season of the karmics. And I think it's just more so coming from a place of hurt. And I get that. But me being a grown-ass woman, I'm not going to enter. And I know that I'm done with my, my past or whatever. I'm not going to entertain certain things. There is millions of readers out there who have their own shit going. And they post what they post. But do not come on my page and talk shit to me. Because I will block you. Like, seriously. This is my last one. And you know exactly who you are, homegirl. You know exactly who you are. This has been your warning. Anyways, today we're going to do a reading based on who is stalking you. Okay? Who's in your, trying to be in your current energy. Okay? What is going on? What you need to know and or be aware of. These may be different messages because this, this deck has like millions of messages in it. So it may not be just strictly about who's stalking you, but we're going to see what is going on. Spirit, angels, ancestors, holy divine, please protect me as I get these messages out. Please allow me to channel the messages that the collective needs to hear, not what they want to hear at this time. Anyone coming to my channel being weird and negative, please allow them to keep that same energy over there, their negativity space. Please allow me to give out the messages that you need me to give out for the collective's highest good send all the haters away in jesus name amen amen and amen all right spirit what do you have for the collective right now what does my beautiful collective need to know and or be aware of right now who's stopping the collective who is currently stalking and watching the collective social medias uh-oh, is somebody who want to reconcile with you, <laughs> your past lover? Now, for the people in the back who don't want their ex and don't want to hear about their ex, this came out plain as day. So, I don't want to hear it, how you don't want him, how you don't need him, how she ain't this, she ain't that. Please click off the video and have a great day, and I will catch you later. All right? Okay, so we gave him time to leave. So if you're still sitting here, you don't want to hear about this ex, please do not put that in the comments because I promise you I'm going to block you. That is so annoying to me. Anyways, okay. Is somebody, whoever's watching you is a past lover, okay? This is somebody here that wants to reconcile with you. They want to be back with you. Some of you, this person has been in your energy. Some of you, this is like, it's like a Bronx tale. I've never seen this movie, but it's kind of like, I heard it's about like, kind of like a, 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 a Bronx tale, like a Romeo and Juliet, okay? This is somebody here who I feel like you may not even supposed to be with. 
okay? This could be like good girl, bad boy, or type energy. I might go look that movie up and go watch it. Um, but this is somebody that is trying to come back from your past. Whoever's watching you is and stalking your social media. First of all, it is an ex, okay, that wants to reconcile. That's their purpose of watching you because somebody wants to come back to you, okay? Who is currently watching the and stalking the collective social media spirit? Who is this person that's watching? Okay, some of you, this could also be like an old friend group, some old friends, okay? Why I say old friends is because some of you, you were like a dime in a dozen. You stood out. You always stood out. And, you know, as, as you know, this this girl group, they, I think this was, oh, I forgot their name. Was it 702? Mm. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, okay? I don't mind it. Um, or was it 3LW? I think it was 3LW. Which one was it, y'all? Tell me in the comments. Um, I'm getting a little promise of your broken promises, promises. Okay, I'm getting tired of your broken promises, promises, okay? It's like all these ladies went out to do their own thing. Like, I know she's in um, Power. Um, she's the boy's mom. I know she went off and she had uh, her own show. These two are part of Cheetah Girls as well. So I feel like in a way, like this is telling me that who's watching you is you are like a dominant in a dozen to these old friends. Some of you are out here accomplishing things, goals. Um, you're doing your thing, whether you're single or not, whether you're married, whether you are whatever. But yeah, th these old friends are watching you come up and do your thing. Okay, maybe you always the one out the group that said, I'm gonna do me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get things done, and you are actually doing what you said you're doing. Some of you are, I know, um, I don't know what, I think it's two of them, maybe, I think two of them are married and got children now. So yeah, these friends are watching you on the come up. They're watching you do your own thing. So somebody, it's two, maybe two or three other women that you used to be close with back in the day, okay, a couple years ago, and they're watching you. Who's stalking and watching my beautiful collective at this time, spirit? Who's stalking and watching my collective at this time? Give me one more message. Who's stalking and watching the collective? Something about loyalty. Somebody you was very loyal to could be another ex of y'all's. Some of you could have held this person down. Can you give me more clarity on loyalty for who's watching and stalking the collective? Loyalty. Yeah, you rode for somebody. You could have held somebody down when they got locked up. Okay, it says ride or die. Someone will go to war for you. Don't play about you. Someone grew up in a rough environment. Survival skills, street, street farmer, street smart. Okay, Monica should have known better. So this might be a, a, another ex. So this could be like more than one ex that's watching you collect them. This somebody here, like I felt like you held down, held down. Don't mean there's something like you, you, some of you, you could have held this person down when they went and got locked up. You could have held this part. You could have stashed some stuff away for this person. Um, some of you could have bailed this person out of a situation. Okay. Some of you really had somebody's back. Could be a brother, sister. Tell me about this loyalty, ambitions of a rider. Who's stalking or watching the collector? Shy. This somebody here who maybe you went to high school with or middle school with. Tongue tied, nervous, doesn't know what to say, overthinks responses, double check, spelling, nail biting. Yeah. You are very much so an independent woman or independent man, and your words manifest what you want. Some of you have recently done like a spiritual cleanse, but y'all got some past energies that are coming back towards you. I'm going to get some more clarity on the first two, and then we're going to pull some tarot, okay? Spirit, tell me more about this reconciliation for who's watching and stalking the collective. Reconciliation. Tell me more about this reconciliation. Reconciliation. So we got real love, butterflies, heartfelt connection, relationship goals, power couple, marriage, stability, wishes, granted, romance, no questions, don't doubt. So there is someone collective, this person that you were, your past lover, they were like, they gave you butterflies, okay? Whoever this is watching you or they get butterflies when they watch you. This is somebody here who I felt like y'all had a really heartfelt connection. Your love was very genuine. You were very genuine in, a, in person. You may have came off as a relationship goal. Somebody here could be from New York. Okay. 
Reconciliation, real love for who's watching the collective. Yeah, somebody's watching you be this alpha female, okay? Or alpha male. Give me one more for reconciliation, real love, and alpha female. Yeah, look, always watching you. I'm telling you, somebody here is seeing you like doing your thing, collective, okay? It says, reaching the climax in your story, the best part, happy ending. You are still somebody's happy ending, collective. Somebody is seeing you like get out in the field and you're doing your big one. Okay, it says I always feel like somebody's watching me. Be careful of fake pages. So that's confirmation. There is a past lover who still has real love for you, who is keeping up with your social media. Okay, you are the alpha female. You're doing your thing. You are making it happen for yourself. Okay, and I feel like this person they watch you and they still get butterflies. They you're coming up as a very like stable person. Somebody here feels like they want to be with you. They don't question or doubt the love that you have for them ever. Um, they always knew your love was real and genuine. They had no doubt that you loved them the way you showed up for them, the way you kept it real with them. Okay, but they, they watch you because they want to have this reconciliation. All right. <clears throat> Y'all two could be at, at a distance from each other. Could be Aries. So tell me about this. Reconciliation. This person has... The person who wants to reconcile with the collective, that's watching the collective. Um, reconciliation, real love, always watching the collective, alpha female. Look, cannot make it up. This is my here who wants to have a new beginning love. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or you could be that sign. But in overall, the love is real. This person has real love for you, 1144. They must be feeling something if they're making fake pages to watch you. Okay, but this person has real love for you. You could have been the best like person being in a relationship with yeah they're manifesting you back especially after some type of like missed opportunity and some of you have maybe closed the cycle with this person but they want to take action towards you and some of you like i said you could be having dreams about this person trying to come back like y'all can see this person's name in your dreams you can see maybe their profile picture in your dreams there is something being hinted the universe is hinting to you that your person x is coming back okay so now we know this person Still got strong feelings for the collective. Why do they want to reconcile with the collective? Yeah, they come in. It could be Aries and Sagittarius. Somebody here um, is very passionate about you. What's the Knight of Wands? Always watching the collective. Want to come towards the collective. Why? Virgo could be a Virgo. This is somebody here who I feel like collective who wants to have some type of stability with you. A family with you. They want to be financially secure with you. Um, long-term success. They want to contribute to the future with you. And I feel like that's what they're manifesting is to have some type of family with you. Why do they want to reconcile? Some of you, like I said, the alpha female, somebody who get out there, she works hard, she does what you got to do. And some of you, they feel like that's how y'all are a perfect match with each other. Y'all are those marriage goals. Y'all actually can like win in life together. Who's watching the collective? Yeah, Taurus. This is my hero who sees a long-term success with you. They're willing to put in the work for you, collective. They want to invest in this connection. Yeah, they're holding on to you for their life because you fulfill this person's wishes. Okay? What is the main purpose of this person? Okay, why is this person watching them? Why is this past energy watching the collective? Could be Aries because they're planning to come toward you. They want some type of progress with you. They made some, some of you, this person made a decision. What's the uh, two of wands? Why are they watching the collective? Why is this person watching this past level watching the collective spirit? They may want to know if you're giving to anybody else at this time. Maybe they feel like, you know, you're, you're giving or spending time with somebody else. It could be a Taurus. Yeah, so that's why they want to rush in towards you. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Somebody here may want to boast and brag about, you know what, I'm a different type of man. I got money now or, or you know, I, I'm. but somebody here was just inspired by you. Because you give off the vibe of a wealthy man or a wealthy woman, okay? So somebody here want to be just like you. Tell me more. Why is this person making plans to reconcile with the collective? To have a new beginning. Yeah, they want a new fresh start with you, okay? They want an opportunity to make things right. Some of you, they're leaving the baggage behind and coming towards you. Okay, somebody here, I'm hearing they're no longer stuck in their head. They know what they want, and it's you. All right, so let's talk about this dime a dozen spirit. What is this dime a dozen about? 
these ex friends or old friends that are watching the collective diamond diamond in the rough some of you that somebody see you are a diamond in the rough some of you came out of a bad situation and you made something of it yeah definitely past injury y'all could have grew up with these friends okay maybe went to the same elementary school middle school maybe high school y'all separated yeah, y'all could have been very, very close. I'm also hearing something about a sorority. So some of you could have like decided to do a sorority, but I feel like maybe after college or something, y'all kind of all split your ways. At some point, y'all split your ways. Okay. Diamond in the rub. So what are these friends, old friends of the collective that's watching? Who are these old friends that's watching the collective? These are somebody here. Somebody here may have done you wrong. Some of you, this was a childhood friend. Y'all live close to each other. I feel like somebody feels like they need your forgiveness. Judgment. Somebody may have judged you or spoke bad about you, collective. But you came out as a diamond in the rough. You actually made something of yourself. Somebody, an old friend is manifesting a conversation with you. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Who are these old friends that are watching the collective? Gemini energy. Somebody here may have a, may made a choice between like being like being friends or choosing love over you. And I feel like they have they feel bad for that because maybe they went through a painful ending over a relationship. Maybe they went and got married. But like I said, or had children with this person. But they've been struggling a lot being like motherhood or fatherhood or whatever. But these these old friends, there's an old friend who's manifesting like a conversation. They're trying to come back and talk to you. They need some clarity about something. Maybe that have happened that pulled y'all apart. Why is these why are these friends what is this friend, this old friend manifesting with the collective? What do they need clarity about? There is a message coming from this person. Could be a air uh Aquarius Gemini Libra. I don't know I said air, but air sign, the Sagittarius, a um Aries Leo Sagittarius. This person is trying to is coming towards you because they see that you are very strong. Okay, you're you you're in a different spotlight and they want to talk to you. Eight of Wands. Some of you they want to like get the girl group back. If y'all used to sing or do something together, somebody here to come with an idea to y'all to like hang out again and, and be like friends again. Somebody's trying to find the, the strength to come towards you. There could be a male figure encouraging your person to come and talk to you. Maybe a dad, an uncle, their baby daddy or something, their husband to come towards you and talk to you. But somebody's trying to find the strength. Eight of Wands, a diamond in the rug. Yeah. This is somebody here who I feel like you were disappointed you had to walk away. Or somebody here who felt like they're disappointed for walking away from you. Y'all could have also had, I'm seeing something about maybe a business together. You know, y'all put some money in together and it was supposed to be teamwork. Why is this eight of cups here for this friend group? I felt somebody felt abandoned, so they withdrew, walking away, leaving behind the page of swords. Somebody here could have been manipulative. They could have, like, did, like, uh, it says, um, somebody was very rational. Like, this old friend was. Very somebody who was very disrespectful. They could have messed up something of yours. Maybe you helped this person out and they would just all talk and they left you high and dry once they got on their feet. Now they could be going through the worst right now because this person wanted to win at all costs. Somebody here may possibly made a bad like business deal. What is the page of swords in reverse for having to walk away? One more. Page of swords in reverse. For this old friend who's watching the collective. This person was very toxic, yeah. They had a lot of destructive behavior. You could have fought this person for some of you. This person was just materialistic. They had attachment to other things. And some of you had to like get away from this person. It could be an Aries or a Capricorn. Okay? But whoever this is, I feel like you restricted yourself from this person. Because you realize they were very codependent. And they were looking for love and possibly the all wrong places. Somebody here tried to... For some of you, this person, we all went out, it's like they, they attracted the bad guys or the bad girls, and they were getting too drunk and doing, like, destructive behaviors when we all went out. It could have been very, like, embarrassing, but I feel like this person is definitely somebody who feels bad and regretful. They stay up at night thinking about you and thinking about, you know, how they messed up this friendship and, 
you know, maybe y'all plan on going into business or something, but that has literally changed your mind. You're like, absolutely not. So somebody here, so, so far we got a past lover is watching you. An old friend is watching you. Somebody who did you wrong. Somebody maybe you could have fought or was close to fighting. This person could have messed up y'all stuff. All right. And Spirit, tell me more about this. Now, this last part is kind of giving me somebody here that was maybe, you, like I said, you knew you weren't supposed to be with. But maybe you stashed the stash some stuff away from them, for them or somebody here who maybe they only knew a certain way of living. But they look at you, somebody who is very loyal. You wrote it down. You held it down for them. Okay. Y'all two, y'all two had the, the point of maybe was on the verge of coming up together. But I feel like for some of you, you kind of like let go. You, this person may have spoiled you with their money and stuff. But I don't feel like they were very much so like committed. Some of you saw this person as maybe a shy guy or a shy girl at one point in time. Then they start started getting in the streets and stuff because it's all they knew. Or maybe it was just quick money. And I feel like maybe something here could have pulled y'all apart. I don't know why I want to say this, but I'm going to say it. That could be a lover who maybe had passed away, who's watching over you is what it's giving me. Because, you know, Tupac is no longer here with us anymore. For some of you, this is telling me that your person, you know, they live the, the street life like that. Okay. Ambitions of a rider. Somebody here who maybe they got... Maybe they could be street smart like, like Tupac was. But, like, you could really talk to this person about really anything. There's a lot of love here. Definitely a lot of love still here for this person, whoever this is resonating with. Let's get more into it, y'all. Some of you person could have could have already been shot. Because you remember the first time before, before and, I'm, and I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm just channeling this stuff. Um... This person could have had the opportunity to go off to college and go do something with their life, but instead they choose to like get money the fast way, jewelry, clothes. So you weren't even about the hoes. It was just more so about a come up 22-22. So this person, I feel like you make this person have a peace of mind. You're very loyal. You keep it real. You tell this person how you feel. Some of you are like, look, I want you to get out the streets. You don't have to live like that. But this person, they will go to war behind you. Whoever this is, no doubt, it don't matter what you got going on. They will, you call them, they're going to be there. Mm. So somebody still is definitely attached to you. This person watches you. They may have offered to give you some money here recently. Or just said that they would take care of you. Yeah, some of you, she said, I'm telling that song Monica should have known better because that's on here. She said, you should have known that. I would stay by your side. You should have known your girl was going to ride or die. And it don't matter if you're rich or poor. Doing five to ten, you should have known better. So this person could be locked up already. She said, think about it. Who comes to see you every Saturday and Monday? She said, it's me, your girl, your life, your world. My family and friends, they just don't understand. They say I should leave you alone, but I say that they all should just leave us alone. She said, I never ever cheated. I never ever lied. So you can stop asking me why. Why I never left you and why I kept her with real and why I'm still with you. You should have known better. So some of you definitely dealing with this person. Some of you could deal with this person now. And they watch you. They're in prison now. They got a phone to watch you. But there's somebody here who knows that you are very loyal. You, But some of you, this person makes you shy. Okay. Tell me about this. Uh... Loyalty, ambitions of a rider, somebody that grew up in a rough environment who gets shy when they talk to the collective, don't know what to say. This one here don't want to be done. This cycle is not done between whoever this is. Yeah, this is your past lover. Someone from your past will be a Scorpio Taurus. Tell me about this world card in world the world in reverse. Who is this? This is my here who I feel like. They have a new perspective over you. Like somebody knows that you will always be around to help them, to love them, to encourage them. You're not going to sugarcoat it. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person, 
probably don't show their feelings much, but for you, they'll show those feelings. And they mean what they say. Yeah, they're coming back. Somebody is, is, is wanting to be with you, whoever this is, because your loyalty is unmatched. You're making somebody here possibly want to get out the street life and do better. Okay? Who is this? Ambitions of a rider. Someone will go to war for the collective. They don't play about the collective group in a rough environment. Right now, this person could be, um, don't have much confidence right now. Maybe they got discredited for something. So maybe for some of you, they are locked up. They spend a lot of time, you know, being locked up, feeling down. Why is the six of wands in reverse? This person grew up in a rough environment. Some of you, they, they ran it like, there's no success because they ran into the wrong people. Somebody here could have set your person up and now they're doing time or about to do some type of time. You could have been the most loyal person on their team by their side. Tell me more about this loyalty situation. Yeah, somebody here could be going through some type of painful ending. Their friends are really not their friends. You could have warned them about the company that they keep. Yeah, and it's been a lot of fights and stuff. A lot of sleepless nights. Somebody here, your person could have been up on their feet, helped everybody. Now they now they feeling down. So why is this person watching the collective right now? Because they in their head. They know you could possibly find better than them. Could be a Gemini, a Cancer. They feel like they miss an opportunity here with you, especially if they're locked up. Some of you, this person, you know, maybe they've been shot already and, and they still out here living. However, maybe you're not down for that anymore. Why is this person that watches the collective? Why do they get tongue tied when they watch the talk to the collective? Somebody here is trying to make a change. They want to have a positive outcome with you. Some of you, they may message you soon. Tell me more. It could be a Scorpio. Yeah, it could be a Libra. They want to balance things out. I feel like somebody's in jail or they're on their way to jail. <coughs> justice. What's the justice here? Three of Cups. This is my here. I feel like y'all may not be together, but your loyalty is everything. Your friendship is everything. It could be an Aries. Like they don't want to like they don't want to be without you. You are like, you are the whole package, but some of you, you're not putting up with it. Uh, that's what I'm getting. Like, you're very, you love being successful. You don't, you don't want to have to stress about this person. For some of you, this person's not changing anytime soon. And, you know, you don't want to step and worry. You worry about them enough, but it's like, you don't want to keep worrying about this person. Gemini, Leo, Libra, Scorpio. This person maybe has a lot of regrets for what they've done or how they treated you in the past. But I feel like they want to be better and do better towards you. Okay, so at this time, that's what I have for y'all collective. This is who's currently watching you and stalking you. All right, um, if you'd like to book a reading, it is at hoggirltaleshare at gmail.com. You can mess uh, message me through email or on Twitter, okay? And I'll link it down in the description box for you guys, okay? I love y'all and I'll speak to you later, okay? Peace.